Would you give them their, their two names? Welcome. So let's pray as we present Allison and Daisy to this congregation. They're blessing us because the most important baptism is ours. Whether we were infants or a little bit older, it doesn't matter, but it does matter right now for us to reaffirm. And so brothers and sisters in Christ, if you open up to page 39 of the red hymnals, brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. So I present Alice and Edith and Daisy Sosa for baptism. I'm going to ask the parents and all of you in the congregation, first thing we do is we take a stand against evil in whatever forms they present themselves. So on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? I do. Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? Will you nurture these children in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and example, they may be guided to accept God's grace for themselves? to profess their faith openly and to lead a Christian life, I will. Do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? We do. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include these children before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround these children with a community of love and forgiveness. We will pray for them that they may be true disciples who walk in the way that leads. Let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them through freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Tell of God's mercy each day. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Declare his works to the nations, his glory among all the people. Pour out your Holy Spirit and bless this gift of water and those who receive it, to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. Well, praise to you, eternal Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns. Oh, okay, you folks, come on up, all the families that love Allison.
Welcome, all of you. Loving family, generations upon generations. Allison, you've already, in a sense, baptized this congregation by your joy, your smile, your goodness. We're just going to confirm your desire now to be baptized, OK? So if you just kind of incline your head to the side, over the, this little, over the font. OK, there we are. Alice and Edith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You are a blessed child. You bless your family. You bless this congregation. And I pray that God will continue to let you be a manifestation of the love that God is and wants to share with others. You're anointed. You're a priest, or I should say a queen, <laughs> prophet and, and uh, queen. And I pray that you will just be able to live your whole life with that fullness and grace. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining and supporting Allison as she is supporting you throughout your lives.